Space is the world's newest war-fighting domain. Amid grave threats to our national security, American superiority in space is absolutely vital. And we're leading. But we're not leading by enough. But very shortly, we'll be leading by a lot. The Space Force will help us deter aggression and control the ultimate high ground. That was Donald Trump announcing last month the newest addition to the ever-expanding US Armed Forces, the United States Space Force. It's the first new military service in more than 70 years since the Air Force was spun off from the Army in 1947. The Space Force will not be a military department in its own right, like the Army or Navy, but instead will be an independent service administered by the Secretary of the Air Force. It is currently the only active independent Space Force in the world as at January 2020. Initially, the Space Force will only have about 200 active members, with a first-year budget of around 40 million US dollars. That's tiny compared to, say, the US Army, who have around 480,000 active duty soldiers and an annual budget of 181 billion US dollars. So yeah, the Space Force budget is but a drop in the ocean at this stage, but one would imagine that this will increase as other countries set their sights on space. According to its own website, the mission of the Space Force is as follows. The USSF is a military service that organizes, trains, and equips space forces in order to protect US and allied interests in space and to provide space capabilities to the joint force. Their first piece of military equipment that they have officially unveiled on Twitter is their uniform. As you can see here, it's got a nice US Space Force name tape across the front, an American flag arm patch above the logo on the side, and of course the standard Woodland Camouflage. At this point you might be asking, Woodland Camouflage? WTF? Well, you're not the only one asking. Social media has been ablaze with people mocking the uniform choice. How many trees are you expecting to find in space? In space, no one can hear you be ridiculous. I know this is hard to understand, but on the left there is a picture of camouflage, and on the right there is a picture of space. Study these carefully until you can see the difference. The Space Force were quick to defend their uniform choice, stating that it was a cost-saving measure. USSF is utilizing current Army Air Force uniforms, saving costs of designing, producing a new one. Members will look like their joint counterparts they'll be working with on the ground. To be fair to the Space Force, if and when their troops are sent into space, they almost certainly won't be out in the open with just their uniforms on. At the very least, they'll need a spacesuit, but more likely Likely, they'll be in a spacecraft, so the actual uniform colour is kind of inconsequential. Not that I don't appreciate the humour mocking the current US military industrial complex. Also to be fair, if we look at our favourite space-themed movies and TV shows, it's not like they were all wearing appropriately coloured space camouflage. Stormtroopers, white. X-Wing pilot jumpsuit, orange. Star Trek personnel, pretty much any bright colour. So to be fair, the colour of the newly created Space Force's uniform is probably the least of our concerns. What are your thoughts? Is the colour of the uniform important? Does any of this even matter? But most importantly, does the United States need a Space Force, especially knowing that around 12% of the American population are still in poverty? Let me know below.